Kaylin, what was your reaction when you saw the USA team yesterday, the roster come out? Yeah, I think uh, I'm excited for the girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know I could have gotten away. Maybe I'm the team not be on the team, so um, you know, I'm excited for them. Um, they're entering them on to win gold. Um, I, I was a kid that grew up uh, watching the Olympics, so um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to watch them. What was your level of disappointment not hearing your name on the roster? Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think mean, it just gives you something, something to work for. Um, you know, it's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there and uh, it gives you just a little more motivation. Uh, you know, you remember that and, um, and hopefully in four years, when four years comes back around, you know, I can be there. Did you have a direct conversation with the managing director and others over there at USA Beaver Yeah, they, Yeah, they called me and, and let me know and, uh, before everything came out, which was, you know, really respectful of them, and I appreciated that. And they did the same for every girl that made the team or every girl that um, didn't make the team. There was a lot of players in the, in the Olympic pool, so uh, it wasn't like I was the only one they had to call. They had to make quite a few calls. Are you looking forward to a break, you know, from Olympic action? <laughs> That's yeah, in general, I guess. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be really nice. I mean, I've loved competing every single second, but it's going to be a, a great month for my body to, you know, first of all, like, get rest and get healthy and just get time, a little time away from basketball and the craziness of everything that's been going on and, um, you know, just find some peace and quiet for myself. Um, but then additionally, like, a great opportunity for us to work and get better, a great opportunity for myself to get in the weight room, um, to work on the court and work at things that I want to get better at that I maybe even have time going from college to the pro season. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but at the same time, like, we still have a, a month of games where we have a lot of opportunities to win a lot of games. So that's where my main focus is. What was it like to kind of prepare for Team USA? Like, you were in Cleveland when you were hosting camp, but, like, obviously you had other things in your mind. I think kind of played a big deal. So what was it like trying to balance, like, I want this opportunity, but this other opportunity is right in front of me? Yeah, I don't think there was, like, a, a preparation. It was more like just go about my business how I have my entire career. And, you know, if that's the opportunity I get, great. If I don't get that opportunity, you know, there's still a lot of positives. And, the time that I'm going to have off, um, you know, the opportunity to be motivated to hopefully achieve that at some point in my career. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, a lot of my focus was on my college season. I didn't have time to go to a, a training camp and um, then obviously it was quick turn around to come here. So, um, yeah, I think it's you know, it's just a good, good motivation for us. And then we all know how talented that team is. Like, you look at that roster and a lot of players I've already had the opportunity to play in this league that are just so good. And, you know, I, I know they're going to go out there and dominate and I'm going to be watching and cheering for them. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Have you heard from anyone that stood out from you about that? Meaning like an NBA player or anything like that? Or like your fifth there? We're talking in a lot of ifs here. I know you just said you would like that rest, but if there is a player on the roster that's too injured to play and they call you, what would your reaction be? Yeah, I think it would be a great opportunity. Um, a lot of ifs. So, like, you know, my main focus is on the fever. Like, that's what it is. If USA Basketball needs something, you know, I have a great relationship with them. Um, but um, the 12 they have selected are, are really, really great players. So I think they're in pretty good hands. A great coach, a great coach. Like, he's doing a really good job. So, um, yeah, just, just focus on the fever and what we can do to be better. Coming off your last game, I know you got a lot of shots up in the gym this last week and then had the yeah. game that you did. How necessary it was for you to kind of feel, feel that? Yeah, it was, it was really nice, and I think just getting back and getting some work in, but also the rest was huge. I felt like my legs were under me a little bit more. I felt like I was missing short quite a bit before that, so um, I think it shows what rest can do for your body, but also I think it was just like a good kind of breakout game to get, kind of get some more confidence into my shot. I don't think I had shot it really all that great. A lot of, you know, had some good looks that I just had missed, so um, it was nice to see quite a few go down, and, you know, hopefully we can continue to build a few on that, and you know, obviously across the board, we shot the ball well, 16 made threes. I think we kind of settled a little too much. I thought we could put our feet in the paint a little bit more, but um, overall, we did shoot the ball pretty well. How do you That's use that more. confidence and use it? Or what gives you confidence that you can go up to Connecticut tomorrow and build and start stacking wins? Yeah, I think we, we go into every game confident that we're going to win. You know, that's the mentality of this team. We're young. We have a great energy about ourselves. We come into practice and we work hard every single day. Um, and if you don't have that mentality going into a game that you're going to win, like you're, you're just not going to win. That's that's problem number one. So I don't think that's that's a problem at all. We're going to go in there confident and give it everything, everything we have. A bit of a Last unique one. question, but I've been curious about this. What is your relationship like with Bree? Yeah, Bree's amazing. I think... Uh, I mean, first of all, her, her pictures are absolutely incredible. Um, but she's been a supporter of women's basketball for a really long time before I came around. So um, somebody that just, you know, is always there rooting on, you know, multiple players throughout this league. 
mentor for a lot of college teams. Um, and then, you know, getting to know her over the course of last year has been awesome. She's taken some amazing pictures and, and captured some amazing memories, not only for myself, my family, a lot of my teammates, a lot of other teams, a lot of other players. So, uh, you know, she's awesome.